Hello, welcome back to the Marquette Public Library audio series. Today, we'll be reading Toad Bottom Cove by Ninja... Uh, Ninjaft W... Oh, oh, one. This is a book explaining the lore of one of the towns in Sea Drifters, which is located in the near the Palmas off the coast of Cal, uh, Colombia, uh, Venezuela, and across from Colombia and Jolly Roger Bay, which controls most of the Caribbean. Let's get started. Prologue. Once a town of peace, now a wasteland, lover's paradise. Toad Bottom Cove stood gently in the night, undisturbed by the colonization of the southern mainland of Drifters Pass. Its previous inhabitants, driven mad by the siren's call, had wandered aimlessly around the main island of Toad Bottom Cove. They were a hostile people to any explorer that crossed their path. This island, held loosely together by the man minds of fishermen, called out to for a savior. Two brave colonists of the sea drifters would answer the call. Chapter 1 The Siren's Call. Granted a colony fund from Queen Turtle, Sir Ninja and Sir Glitch made their way along the South American coast in search of new and fertile land. They happened upon a wrecked ship filled with riches beyond their comprehension. They searched for the wreckage for more valuables until they heard the sweet song of a group of sirens. As they surfaced from the wreck, their treasures melted in their hands, and the sirens' song grew piercing. Though their ears bled and muscles fought against the call, the sirens' song grew stronger. They both soon fainted and washed upon the lush shores of Toad Bottom Cove. They were quickly awoken to many proce uh, processed fishermen storming their position. Spears at the ready, this would be the legendary fight known as the Fisherman's Fate. Chapter 2 The Fisherman's Fate. With the siren's uh, siren servants closing in both Ninja and Glitch, it was, was, a f was a fight for their lives. They both drew their swords from the packs and prepared for the assault. Hundreds of lifeless bodies were thrown into the wake, but neither explorer would leave any standing. Glitch sliced his way into the wrecking lighthouse on the coast and barricaded the entrance. Ninja the same with the torn up farmhouse opposite Gritch. They both stood atop each other each each building, laying fire to the bodies below until only a few stood in their wake. In unison, the explorers descended onto the remaining servants and finished the battle in one devastating swoop. The island of Toe Bottom Cove had finally felt its first wave of silence in years. The battle was won for the Sea Drifters. Chapter 3 Settling the Shores After defeating the Siren Servants, both explorers restored the native structures of the island and made their way back to the Queen to report their findings. Queen Victoria comprehended their accomplishments and promoted both explorers, allowing them to rule over their own settlement. She funded further restoration of the island and saw that a new port be built on the island so visitors may come and go from the island as they please. All seemed peaceful in the cove and the restoration has fully begun. Chapter 4 The Cataclysm after months of restoration, rulers Ninja and Glitch finally had a moment's rest while peacefully fishing from the docks. They felt a rumble underneath their feet. They turned to see a, crunk, a chunk of rock being torn from their beloved island. It seemed as though the signs were not done toying with the mortal rulers. As the floating chunk of the island stood menacing above the island, the rulers watched a small kingdom descended from the heavens. Earth magma and water flushed by the crater left by the torn apart floating rock and water descended upon the island as the earth came to a standstill stand still, the familiar song of the sirens broke the momentary silence the rulers both knew that the sirens had returned they regrouped in the silence of their underground bunker and began by forming a plan they figured out the only way to 
prevent future attacks was to wipe out the sirens for good. So they began their mission to venture atop the heavenly castle and destroy the Siren Queen once and for all in the name of Toad Bottom Cove. And that will end today's session for reading for the Marquette Public Ri Library. In the next episode, we'll be going over Stonefront Legacy, the sequel to this book. I've been your host, Bedalor. I hope you enjoyed the listening to this book today. Have a wonderful day. See you next time.